My name is Suzanne Chisholm. I live here on the shores of the beautiful Salish Sea. I'm an educator and I'm currently teaching a class of awesome grade five students remotely. I work at a school called SIDES, South Island Distance Education School. We're in Victoria, British Columbia. My students and I have never been together in a classroom, but we have regular sessions where we connect by Zoom. The other grade five class in our school, taught by Erin Young, also wanted to be part of our ORCA inquiry. So over 40 enthusiastic students participated. Oh, Kelly, go ahead. I wanted to teach my students about the amazing southern resident community of ORCAs that live in the Salish Sea. They are highly endangered. There are only about 70 of these ORCAs left. So I designed a mini unit called ORCA Inquiry. The goal of the unit was to learn a little bit about these orcas and examine the ways that human behaviors can affect the orcas. There were three parts to this inquiry, two one-hour lessons followed by an art activity. In the first activity, we watched the National Geographic video, Secret Killers of Monterey Bay. Students brainstormed ways that people can affect orcas. some boats give off sound and then it can mess with their echolocation. The class was divided into four groups and assigned a topic that explored the human impact on orcas. Pollution, noise, prey, in this case salmon, and shipping traffic. In the second activity, which we did on Zoom the following week, we explored the theme, Care About the Planet. I wanted to get my students to think about their responsibility to care for the orcas. Students were divided into their four groups from the previous week and placed in breakout rooms to discuss ways that human behavior impacts the orcas. Again, the topics were pollution, noise, prey, and shipping traffic. We then reconvened as a group and group leaders shared their findings. We then all discussed ways that we could take responsibility and help the orcas. The class ended with a digital exit ticket that asked three questions. In the final activity of the unit, students were asked to produce a piece of art entitled Where People and Orcas Meet. This was meant to consolidate their learning and it also gave them an opportunity to express themselves and show their understanding of our coexistence. We explored the connection between the human and the natural worlds. Students learned that many of our activities can negatively impact orcas. We examined the ecological perspectives. What are those connections between human actions and the orca's well-being? We also explored scales. We went from considering local issues in Victoria to regional issues in the Salish Sea to global issues around the world. Students were given opportunities for deeper understanding of scales by looking at a map of other orca populations around the world. My students had lots of questions. Although we didn't answer all the questions we had, this activity allowed students to make meaningful connections across vast geographical spaces. Around the world, humans and orcas coexist. They did some research on a couple of different websites. The David Suki Foundation said that salmon are sensitive to high temperatures. I found out when boats use their horns around the whales, it scares them away and it makes them unsettled. I designed this really big light that could go on right in front of the boat so they could see that, that there's an other boat instead of using their horns. I wanted to draw a picture that relates to our topic, so I did like the people were taking the food from orcas. So what, how I drew it is she's keeping a safe distance from the orcas and not getting too close to them so that she could possibly be hurting them. It's about like the garbage pollution, how it can affect the animals. 
And there's a bag stuck on the fin of the whale. I learned that not just orcas, but a lot of whales have been found stranded on beaches because of boats around. They've been like practicing sonar stuff. They are killing orcas with containment, reduced prey abundance, and past capture of these animals for aquariums. I wanted my students to understand that these orcas are critically endangered, and many of the reasons for the trouble the whales are in can be traced to human activity. I wanted them to understand that their choices matter. I was thrilled to see that my students recognized this and that they vowed to help in different ways. I am very proud of all the amazing work by all the grade five students at SIDES.